few years ago, I met a couple on Beausoleil Island, camping from a 21-foot pontoon boat. What surprised me was they'd been out for a month and we're gonna stay out another two weeks. So I got to thinking, what would it be like to spend a few days and nights on a pontoon? Luckily, my wife Sherry loves boating and camping and suggested we leave the cruiser at home and try roughing it for a bit. Now, six weeks on a pontoon boat seemed crazy to me, but this couple really seemed to be enjoying themselves at a fraction of the cost of a big express cruiser. With our F-250 loaded with gear, all we needed was a boat. Fortunately, we have great partners, and our friends at Central Marine were willing to loan us a brand new Godfrey aqua patio for our experiment. Central Muskoka isn't on the water, but Central Wabashin is. They've got a great launch ramp and are less than 20 clicks from Beausoleil. Unfortunately, it started raining the moment we arrived. Determined not to let the weather get us down, this gave us an excellent chance to go through the Godfrey Aqua Patio 235 cruise in detail. We needed to put the full enclosure up so we'd have protection from the elements. This option starts with both bow and stern bimini tops. A center panel connects the two bimini's and then we can start the sides. The bow and stern panels have three layers with a screen, window and privacy panel. The side panels are window and privacy panels only. Pro tip, unzip the top a little bit. It'll loosen off the canvas and make it much easier to zip the verticals. Easy peasy. This boat comes with dual batteries, allowing us to entertain without having to worry too much about power. At the helm, there is tilt steering, multifunction gauges with Simrad GPS front and center. There is a Polk Audio AM FM Sirius Bluetooth stereo and a handy dandy cell phone holder right next door. Rocker switches operate the many cockpit interior lights and exterior lighting, including docking and underwater lights. This boat is also equipped with a wash down shower option. The captain's chair is very comfortable and features a tilting backrest and tilting armrests. It swivels and slides and even has a flip up bolster. All of the seats feature premium vinyl. And in terms of storage, there is molded storage under every seat to keep our things nice and dry and some clever sliding trays to keep smaller items in place. For larger items, the rear storage has access from the top and the side. Under the helm console is space to stow the tables and these sturdy drink holder armrests, which can be mounted on any bench. If you opt for the full third log, you get an absolutely enormous ski locker. And this stretches all the way back to the fuel tank and almost all the way forward to the front of the boat. This aqua patio has not one, not two, but three garbage cans. This is a pontoon boat made for camping. Mother Nature finally changed her mind and we got all our garbage sorted out, so we started our trek for Beausoleil Island. Wabashin Bay can be a bit tricky to navigate, so keep an eye on the charts and the red buoys to port on your way out. Once clear of the shallows, we get a chance to enjoy the ride while soaking in a little sun and scenery. Well, we have this 23-footer loaded with gear, at least 500 pounds worth. And we're still managing to do almost 40 kilometers an hour with the little 150. Now, I think if I was gonna buy this boat, I'd probably put the 250 on it. It does have all three full logs, so you can put at least 250 horsepower on it. But I mean, 40K an hour with a 150? Not bad, fully loaded up. Most of our boat testing happens in a couple of hours but you really need a couple of days to truly understand just how comfortable these pontoon boats are. What do you think? Pretty sweet. And the best thing is, if you find just the right spot, they are very easy to beach. We had a few places in mind that we wanted to visit. Since the overnight forecast was dead calm, we thought we might be able to spend the night on the more exposed west side of the island. Since the sun would soon be setting, we decided to take the shortest route back around the southern tip of Beausoleil and head towards the Jin Islands. With the sky not looking too friendly, we put the enclosure back up in preparation for our overnight stay on the aqua patio. 200 meters off the western shore of Beausoleil sits a pair of small islands popular for day trips. Rising only a few meters out of the water and exposed to winds from the north and west, the Jin Islands have that smooth, windswept beauty that influenced the group of seven artists. But the very exposure responsible for this rugged beauty poses certain risks to a boat, and you must pay close attention to the wind and wave forecast. 
but the southeast corner of Gin Rock Island is somewhat protected and has a tiny little beach affording shore access. We've been here before, and it's one of our favorite shorelines to walk. When the water is warm, it's a great spot for swimming and snorkeling. With the sun getting low, we had just enough time to walk around Gin before breaking out the sleeping bags. Well, Cher, a perfect end to a perfect day. What do you think of this pontoon camping? Pretty amazing. Night, Sherry Ann. Night, John Boy.